And Steve and Maria, we are savoring the win with the Yankees. We have to give equal time, fair time. We have Mets superstar, baseball superstar, Ron Darling hanging out this morning. Good morning. Uh, Steve and Maria, thanks for having me. Sorry I'm uh, um, celebrating the Yankees, but it's great. I mean, come on, 27, <laughs> 27 championships. If you're a Mets fan and you don't root for the Yankees at this time of year, then yeah. you need to... Uh, root for someone else. At least he's not sour grapes. I think yeah. that's very, very generous of you, Ron, to, you know, be okay with the fact that the Yankees just won the World Series. But, I mean, it's all baseball, right? You know what's great about it is that's the first year in their new stadium. Mm -hmm. um, their manager took a beating almost all season long. Yeah. A-Rod wasn't supposed to come through. Jeter was done. Um, uh, 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 Pettit was done. Hey, 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 Jeter Damon done. was done. <laughs> Matsui was, was supposed to send back to Japan. And all of those guys had amazing years. And that's what's great about great players and kind of almost will themselves to, to perform greatly. Yeah, I want to right. know a guy like you, 86 Mets, you know, World Series behind you. Where were you the other night during the game? Where, where does a guy like you watch the World Series? Well, it's pretty funny. One of the games I watched with uh, Richard Sandemir, who's the, uh, who's the reporter for the New York Times, and we watched it together, which was really kind of strange to watch it with someone because I'm, I'm lucky enough that I get to do the playoffs with TBS but when it gets to the postseason, it's with Fox, so I get to listen to Joe Buck and Tim McCarver. Uh -huh. um, I, I watch it, and were I, you home? Were you at a bar? Were you uh, I, I don't usually go to a bar. I, I'll, I'll be home. Yeah, but, come but, on. He doesn't want to be at a bar with people but, like, hey, Ron. But, but, I, but I do do exactly what uh, I shouldn't do, and that is watch it and go. How could he say that? I would never say that. that oh, oh now you're so looking at I'm like, the uh, all of a sudden now I'm, I'm, a, I'm a critic. But, yeah. uh, That's funny. I, um, I do want to say to you guys, uh, congratulations, uh, Stephen Maria. Uh, people are lucky to be able to listen to you every day. Thank oh, you very much. He's Great congratulating us on our new show, too. Appreciate Look at you. that. It's like, But you know what's funny is that we had planned you coming here before the Yankees well, won the World Series, and now you know you happen to be here on the day they're doing their ticker tape parade and all the craziness is going on. But I think you're a great sport. I really, I'm, I'm, I thought he'd be all like, yeah, let's not talk about the Yankees. No, and look at no, that. not, That's really not cool. at all. I'm, I'm so excited for them. And I don't know if you guys have ever been downtown when they have that Canyon and Parade. I actually parade. was there for what year? Oh, it was the first year that I came to New York. It was like, what, 2000, right? Yeah, yeah, 2000. And, yeah. and when they had it in 86. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, when was the time before that? Hold on. Was it 99? Before 2000. Did you do the Giants? Oh, it was 99. 2000, 99. 99. It was 99. Yeah. That was yep. it. I remember being in the city. I remember the city just like it, it was the other night. It was craziness. And people were on the street and drunk for three straight days. And it was <laughs> insanity. And, um, and you know, and I went to the ticker tape parade that year. That was the one year I went. And it was seriously insane. But it was really great it's so great to be a part of it and that's what i mean that like met fans and yankee fans we all come together as new yorkers when we have a world series no matter what i uh, totally agree um in in 86 when we had the parade and you guys were probably one or two or whatever years we'll old, go with that I I, I I i will say uh, i'll never forget when i went into city hall and i got to get to the second floor and wave to everyone um that there was an, an official, you know, that, those official people that are always around the mayor. Yeah. And uh, he said that there were 3.2 million people in that area. Wow. Holy and when cow. you think of it that way, I mean, that's how New York has come together. And uh, for all you people that are kind of uh, maybe squeamish or go about going downtown because it's going to be so many people. Yeah. Um, I was there last year. I, I live downtown, so I always uh, I see these parades. Uh, the Giants parade uh, mm -hmm. from a couple of years ago. People had so much fun. And it it was, is fun. Yeah, and it's it's almost safe. like everyone hug, hugs each other. It's like for New five Year's Eve. Exactly. Like yeah, New exactly. Year's Eve. Now, Ron, you know what I love too about you that's different is that you're Hawaiian. I am. I'm from Hawaii. I was born um, in Oahu. And in fact, I'm going back in a couple of weeks because uh, one, they've asked me, it's their 50th anniversary as a state. But it's also the 50th anniversary of my parents. Oh. So in this day and age, and I'm, I'm a divorced man. So um, really? in, in this uh, mm -hmm. in this day and age, you said that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in this day and age, uh, for someone to be married 50 years is such a cool thing. Of so course. we're going with all my brothers and their kids. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be great, but it's going to be 20 of us are going to be out there staying at a house and just celebrating their 50th. Very cool. That is amazing. I would have had. I would have like you know gotten a lay for you. Oh. Okay. If I knew that you were going to be doing this big cellar. Stop looking at me like that. So anyway, <laughs> Steve. I know. All we need is a little drum, but bam. There we go. No. I love no. it. Well, you know what? The thing is that um, I found out. You not just found out now. You have not Polynesian too much blood. I have Polynesian blood. And it's funny because you caught that. Right? Say, that I right? didn't know that. No, but you always thinking that your family just stopped like the Gulf of Mexico. But they went. <laughs> they kept going.
going through the canal <laughs> yes. over to the Pacific or the other way around. The, well, the, the other, other way. Yeah, <laughs> like I have um, Dominican descendants, and we have we actually I knew some Chinese, but I never knew that we were my dad somewhere along the line had Polynesian descendants. So when I went to Hawaii, it was really really neat, and I gotta say. It really was like paradise. It's the closest to paradise that I have ever come to see the island of Maui. It was amazing. I never went to any of the other islands. You know what's great about um, of having Polynesian descent and, and being from Hawaii? Like my mom's Chinese, my dad's French Canadian, oh. but I'm born in Hawaii, which makes me Hawaiian, which yeah. is the coolest thing. I'm a, um, I don't know, it's a really cool thing to be from there because um, the people are beautiful. Yeah. Uh, there's not the concern that we have here. Uh, they don't need Oprah over there. They're very fine with who they look like, how they, they are, they do, yeah. all this. Are. No Dr. Oz, none of that stuff. They're just uh, happy to uh, love. So, so and but, but I gotta say though, Poi. Oh, yikes! Poi yeah. is. I don't know. I probably would rather have some warm dog food. <laughs> Because there's more flavor. I've actually ha tasted it by mistake. And uh, when I had poi, I was like, what is it? It's just flavorless. It's gray. It looks like pigeon poop. It's, uh, I, I've tasted it probably a lot more than you have. I haven't been able to taste dog food yet. <laughs> but I, but I do. It was a mistake. I know, it happens. I, I uh, uh, poi is awful. It, it is just awful. really is what's, awful. What's it for? I mean, well, you know, it comes from the taro root. Right. So it's uh, very, um, not protein, what am I talking about? What's rice? Uh, what, what's oh, starch? starchy. Starchy. Starch. So it's real starch. And they only eat it with their fingers. Do you kind yeah. of eat it with your fingers? Are you supposed to dip in something? Uh, no, no, no. It. It's eat like it, eating eat syrup. You know, you, uh, like if you ever ate syrup, it would drip off your hands. You eat it. Drip That's how poi is. Oh, it's but so it is gross. so tasteless. Totally. And it tastes. Um, it's just to fill you up, I guess. But I don't well, get it. I guess for the locals in the day, you yeah. know, to get a root yeah. and be able to make something of it and to feed you. Yeah, um, I guess that was the point. a key thing. And they kept it around. But I can't, they, they really do eat poi in Hawaii, there's no joke. Well, we I mean, fully evolved here because now we're like into Oreos, so we've gone <laughs> <you know? laughs> Ron, I love you. You better watch out because Oreo will be listening and we'll put poi inside of two crackers. That's <laughs> right. Pre filling. Ew, poi, Oreos. poi o Oreos, that sounds delicious. Well, Ron, we've learned so much about you this morning. We've learned that you're a very cool guy, that you like to be timely um, because he was rushing to get here on the southern state. He's like, I'm coming, I'm late. But I'm coming, so we're thrilled that you made it. And hey, oh wait, we got to do about? one thing before we, we leave. We got to talk about what you're doing on Long Island. It's next week, right? Um, oh yeah, exactly. Jesus, uh, next week. Hopefully, you guys can come. Um, it's at Landmark on Main Street, which is in Port Washington, uh -huh. and it's on Thursday night, which is the 12th. And I'm just going to. It's going to be kind of. Um, it's very strange. It's going to be a, an evening with Ron Darling, but. I have an evening with Marie myself like all the that. time. I'd like an evening with <laughs> But uh, it's honestly to t talk about my book and uh, honestly to talk about baseball uh, in this time. A lot of the Port Washington folks are going to want to know about the Yankees, the Phillies. They're also going to want to know how the Mets are going to at some point uh, try to be a contending team. Get back so, in there. Uh, yeah. thanks, so are you going to be signing sign. autographs? I'll, do, I'll sign anything. I'll sign the books. I'll sign uh, whatever people want. But I think it's going to, what's great about it is that I got a chance to. Uh, Answer questions, and I'm sure they'll be very pointed. Is it a fundraiser? It's not, it, it's not a fundraiser It's just at all. an evening with you. Yeah, you know what it is? is I wrote the book with Dan Pace, and it was really, uh, we've become really good friends. Mm -hmm. And Dan is um, lives in Port Washington, and he knows the people at Landmark on Main Street. And he thought it might be a good thing to do. So he's going to moderate it. I'm going to follow his game plan. And we're just going to have, uh, I don't know, we're just going to have a blast. And, at and some your point, book is called The Complete Game. The Complete Game. Um, and we're going to, at some point, uh, have a blast and then have margaritas, I guess, after we're done. Something Ron, like we're there. Okay. And we hope that all Met fans and all baseball fans in general come out and join us. Hopefully, we'll, we'll be able to make you it. You are history. You are baseball history. Once I we heard you were going to be on the show, it. everybody in the entire building got crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's the 86 Mets. I don't care who you root for. Historic. Well, the thing about the 86 Mets is that, uh, you know, the, the Mets fan is a very resilient fan. They don't get lots of joy, but when they, <laughs> but when they on, do, right. when they do, it's really great. Yeah. And, and uh, but, you know, I think all of us, and, and I'm not speaking for all Yankee uh, Mets fans, but I think all of us as New Yorkers mm -hmm. are just so excited to, uh, to have a championship uh, in our city. And thank you so much, Ron Darling, for hanging out this morning. Guys, thank you very much. Let's have a blast at the parade for the And Yankees. go Got Mets, it. too, okay? okay? We still love the Mets. Thanks for coming, Ron. Thanks. Yeah, thank you.